In the vast expanse of the second century Roman Empire, a figure of wisdom and stoicism emerged, Emperor Marcus Aurelius. This was a world of marble and war, of grandeur and brutality, a world where the whisper of an empire echoed across continents and the fate of nations was decided in the heart of Rome. At its helm stood Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, a man of unwavering calm amid the storm of power. His reign, spanning two decades, was marked not only by political triumphs and military victories, but also by an unquenchable thirst for wisdom. He was a ruler who wore the mantle of power with grace and humility, a Stoic in the truest sense. Stoicism, a philosophy born in the bustling marketplaces of Athens, found its most ardent disciple in the halls of Roman power. It taught the pursuit of virtue above all else, the acceptance of fate and the cultivation of inner tranquility, a mantra that Marco Aurelius took to heart. He poured over these teachings not just in the comfort of his palace, but on the front lines of battle, in the heart of the empire's tumultuous politics. His philosophical writings, known today as Meditations, are a testament to his dedication to Stoicism. Scribbled in the heart of war, they were his personal reflections, his struggle to find inner peace amid the chaos that surrounded him. They were his sanctuary, a beacon of tranquility in a world aflame with power and ambition. Marco Aurelius didn't just preach inner peace, he lived it. He advocated for disconnection from external stimuli, for introspection and reflection. He understood the value of time, of silence, of the quiet moments that allow us to hear our own thoughts. He valued family, physical exercise and the pursuit of virtue. His life and teachings continue to resonate with us even after nearly two millennia. They remind us of the importance of inner peace, of the strength that lies in tranquility, and the virtue of a life lived in harmony with one's principles. Rising from the embers of war and political strife, Marco Aurelius offered a beacon of tranquility and introspection. As the sun set over the Roman Empire, Marco Aurelius engaged in a nightly routine that fostered inner peace and clarity. As the world around him buzzed with the clamor of empire, he chose to disconnect to retreat into the sanctuary of his mind. He understood the value of silence, the power it held to quiet the discord of external stimuli. His routine was simple yet profound. He eliminated superfluous activities, those that did not contribute to his growth or peace. Instead, he replaced them with moments of pure introspection, his thoughts guided by the rhythmic cadence of his breath. Meditation became his tool, his weapon against the onslaught of uncontrolled thoughts and desires. In this space, free from the distractions of the world, he found clarity. He discovered not only the strength of his own mind, but the tranquility that lay in understanding himself, his actions, and his place in the universe. As the stars twinkled overhead, Marco Aurelius found solace in solitude and introspection. With the dawn of a new day, Marco Aurelius embraced a morning routine steeped in discipline and virtue. As the second century Roman emperor, he understood that the way one begins their day sets the tone for the hours ahead. Aurelius was a man of physical vigor who valued the merits of exercise. Each morning he engaged in physical activities, not merely for the sake of bodily health, but for the cultivation of virtues. He saw in the rhythm of exercise a metaphor for the rhythm of life, a cycle of exertion and rest, challenge and reward. His morning routine, therefore, began with the synchrony of body and mind, a disciplined exertion in the gymnasium or under the open sky. However, the exercise of the body was just the beginning for Aurelius. His morning routine also incorporated an exercise of the mind. Every day he engaged in a practice of daily reflection, a review of the previous day's happenings. He believed in using these reflections as a tool for learning and growth, aligning his actions with the principles he held dear. This practice of introspection allowed him to continually refine his character and actions, ensuring that he was always moving towards becoming the best version of himself. Perhaps most intriguingly, Aurelius began each day by contemplating a role model. He questioned whether his actions aligned with their principles and whether he was living a life worthy of their example. This practice helped him to maintain a high standard of conduct and provided him with a clear vision of the person he aspired to be. Finally, Aurelius 
valued preparation. He understood that to procrastinate was to waste the precious hours of the morning. Therefore, he took the time to organize his day, setting intentions and preparing himself for the challenges and opportunities that awaited him. As the sun rose over the Roman Empire, Marco Aurelius prepared himself for the day, armed with introspection and virtue. He understood that the morning was not just the start of a new day, but an opportunity for a fresh start, a chance to live a life of virtue and purpose. Echoing through the centuries, Marco Aurelius' practices hold profound relevance in our modern world. As we navigate the labyrinth of our contemporary existence, the ancient wisdom of this Stoic emperor offers a compass, guiding us towards a more mindful, peaceful and virtuous life. In the digital age, we're constantly bombarded with information, notifications and stimuli. This relentless barrage can disrupt our tranquility and distract us from what truly matters. By disconnecting from technology, we can reclaim our peace and focus. How liberating it feels to switch off our devices, silence the noise and immerse ourselves in the serenity of the present moment. Exercise, too, is not just about physical well-being. As Marco Aurelius believed, it is a pathway to virtue. A routine of physical activity, be it a vigorous gym session or a tranquil nightly walk, strengthens our discipline, resilience and determination. It is a practice that nourishes our body, sharpens our mind and fortifies our spirit. Reflection, another cornerstone of Aurelius's philosophy, is a powerful tool for personal growth. By reviewing our day, we learn from our experiences, align our actions with our values, and strive to be better versions of ourselves. Imagine the profound transformation that can occur when we make this practice a regular part of our lives. Contemplating a role model, questioning if our actions align with their principles, can inspire us to live more authentically. Adopting a higher perspective, viewing our lives in the grand cosmic context, can liberate us from the weight of mundane problems. These practices can infuse our lives with purpose, courage and equanimity. In today's fast-paced world, we often neglect the importance of quality time with our loved ones. Marco Aurelius, despite his imperial duties, valued these moments. By reconnecting with our family and friends, we strengthen our bonds, enrich our lives, and cultivate a sense of belonging. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, the practices of Marco Aurelius serve as a timeless reminder of the importance of inner peace, introspection, and meaningful connections. His wisdom, like a lighthouse in the storm, illuminates our path, inviting us to live with greater mindfulness, harmony, and virtue.